I mean, I think Affleck's going to crush it. So, yeah, we're, and, we're a little he, biased, yeah. I guess. He's a little biased? Well, uh, I used to work for the guy way back before I worked with Kevin. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, he's kind of a friend of the family. so Dude, he fired you. <laughs> I got laid off. I got laid he off. fired I got, you. I didn't get fired. I got laid off. There's a difference. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. In There's the a 21st century, being laid off is much better than being fired. Uh, uh, yeah, so you're, you're actually sitting around waiting for him to call you back. <laughs> Ming, we need you again. I'm there. It could happen. You're, screw off, comic book man. It could happen. When he happen. comes in at the end of the season, he's going to show up and take yes. people away. Yes, that, yeah, that's an excellent. <laughs> on a cloud of cocaine and burnt rare comic uh, we'll books. Put your, how do you spell your last name? We'll put it on the credits at the end of that episode. And gumballs. Yes. 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 Uh, Have we guys ever think about like chaining Jane Silent Bob's? Like doing one in Franchising, Denver? Franchising, you mean? You know, yeah. We tried like, that. Uh, there was one in Los Angeles uh, on the West Coast. It was on the campus at UCLA. Uh, it was run by Brian Johnson, oddly enough. Yes. Part of the reason it's not there anymore. Just yeah, that's, that's the rising rents at the West Coast was the other part, but and the other part is that um, he had minions. Brian had minions. Oh uh, yeah, they were homeless. Brian had, had minions. To... I didn't. I was gonna leave out the homeless part. But no, Brian had minions. <laughs> yeah. doing his bidding uh, around Westwood. Minions aren't bad. Minions no. aren't bad, but there is something sinister about having minions. So yeah, Brian had he, he hired them off the street. They're homeless people. So not the not usually. Usually, you know, you go through an interview process. You check, you know, W fours and all that. Nah, he just he skipped all that. So it's better to have lackeys. Minions, yeah. not uh, lackeys. Uh, honestly, yeah, but be, it's better to have lackeys. Honestly, what I'm saying. Be it's not, to have, not oh, so sinister. It's better to have henchmen. No henchmen. <laughs> henchmen are much better than than minions. They're more loyal. I am much. <laughs> yeah. I uh, I think it'd be tough to have another stash without Wall Flanagan. To be perfectly honest with you, that guy runs a store like. Uh, you know, it's it's like like I'm sitting right here. Yes, well, you, without you, but it's 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 Walt runs it like uh, his life depends on it. So. It's just hey, Walt, to be did you feel that? Yeah, it'd be tough. Ming's to, nose up there. It'd be tough to have not not to have him run the store. Now that you found that you have rules being written for your moose jaws, are you up for that next role? Oh hell yeah! Now, <laughs> I, is it on my IMDb page? Because that would be awesome. I I go home and I look up my IMDb page and. Yeah, Moose Jaws. Undisclosed Rumor. role. It's out of work. And since you guys are sort of knee deep in the trenches of the comic book industry, yes. I mean, this has nothing to do with the show, but what do you think about digital comics and the threat to like comic book stores? I don't think there's any threat. Okay. I think that I, actually I have digital comics, but I also have uh, hard, hard copies. I have physical copies because there's no way that a Hulk 181 on your iPad is going to fetch quite as much as an actual physical. Incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Or get your heart beating the same. Yeah. But there's, yeah. You, there's, uh, there's a certain amount of there's a certain amount of love that goes into what we do as comic book collectors, comic book geeks, comic book, whatever you want to call us. Um, for me, it's it's the smell, it's the letters pages, it's the old ads, like the Hostess Twinkie ads. Mm-hmm. You don't get those in the digital comics. You don't get all those. Did you know that George R. Martin, George R. R. Martin, had an, a letter printed in a Fantastic Four very early on? No. But you didn't know that. I knew that because they reprinted the letters pages in the omnibus of the Fantastic Four. Hmm. Very big. He was at the the beginning of the Marvel Age of Comics. But do you think younger generations are going to have that same sort of appreciation that you just expressed? I think that they will. I think the um, I, I think there's some genetic code in a certain amount of young kids that get to the heart beating faster. They connect with comic books on some level, you know, um, and the, the actual physical copies. Yeah, they, especially kids, they want to walk out with something yeah. in their hands. You know, you can get anything and download. You know, you can download a book, but a book has a personality. Yeah, so. Yeah, digital's great for convenience, though. When you're about to take off on that flight, it's like, exactly. oh my god, the newest uh, issue of uh, you know, Amazing Spider Man came out. Like, bam. Or at 3 o'clock in the morning, you're like, holy crap, what? The Avengers fought uh, mm-hmm. Count Nefaria in what issue? And you go and you're like, oh, there it is. I want to read that. And boom, you can download it right there. Okay. So. I think that the immediacy is really cool, but having the physical copy and going on that quest for that copy, I think that's the key. Netflix. Nice. Have you, uh, sorry. Um, you're, you're currently, you guy, you guy, you and Brian do a podcast together. I'm sorry, what? You and Brian do a podcast no, together? No, me and Ming. Yes. Oh, it's you and Ming, I'm sorry. Yes, that's um, right. Called uh, Tell I Sell Comics. Uh, tell them yeah, Steve Davis, two guys, Brian and Brian Wall. 
Yeah. Sorry, Ryan Q. Quinn okay. from Impractical Jokers, not to throw you know, yeah. another network out. Okay. So other than the guys, you're doing the podcast now, what other projects are you guys working on? We are working on a book and record uh, comic that's uh, going to be Kickstarter funded. Uh, we're also working on it with uh, Dana Lechtenberg, who does a lot of stuff for uh, the Nerdist Network. Right. So that's going to be uh, something that uh, I'm almost finished the script for. Should be uh, camera ready by the end of October. Sweet. Uh, Ming and I were hitting the con circuit with Brian. That's a lot of fun. You can see us um, you know, all over the country, all over the country, the world. And, uh, yeah, just po- uh, podcasts. A lot of podcasts. Podcasts, podcasts, yeah. podcasts. So many podcasts. <laughs> Great. Have you ever heard of the customer? You, you know, they said they line them up for you guys when you do the customers. Um, have anybody come in that you just haven't been able to air because it went wrong? Yeah. There, oh, yeah. We do uh, a, a whole bunch of... We do 90 transactions. And in a season, we'll yeah, do, we do what, more than like we need. 60. Mm-hmm. We'll get 60 on, but there's a whole bunch of transactions that don't make it on. So, um, and for whatever reason, we didn't pop with the, the person or the, the you know, the, the uh, item wasn't that interesting. All right, thanks. You got it. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.